this video I'm going to talk about uh, how to break bad news in a clinical examination whatever exam it is whether it's uh, USMLE or PLAB or AMC clinical or New Zealand exam there can be a breaking bad news station because it's very important station and uh, lots of overseas trained doctors fail this station so what are the examples of breaking bad news stations can be something like uh, a 70 year old has come to you uh, after he had a biopsy of prostate he has come with this 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 um, and the results revealed uh, advanced metastatic cancer uh, explain the result to the patient or it can be um, a 50 year old has come to you after he had a biopsy of a nodule in the lung which showed uh, advanced uh, lung cancer explain the report and um, you know discuss the diagnosis or something like that or it can be a 55 year old has come to you with uh, um, you know pap smear result which shows uh, um, advanced you know cervical cancer break the bad news or explain the report so once you know that uh, the station is uh, about you know um, breaking the bad news or similar station uh, it's always important that you follow a protocol uh, many doctors fail this station because they go directly um, explaining that the patient has got uh, you know directly prostate cancer or lung cancer or cervical cancer but um, there is a protocol which uh, I think will be very helpful if you follow in the clinical examination so what's the protocol the protocol is called uh, spikes yes P I K E yes have a look down uh, under the video I have written the spikes and I have abbreviated what spikes is so you will you, you know you will know what spikes protocol is so yes in spikes stand, stands for setting the scene and uh, you know getting started so I will explain about everything uh, uh, in, a, in a while and P is perception uh, where you are checking the patient's understanding I in spikes stands for in invitation where you invite the patient to give bad news K is knowledge where you check the patient's knowledge E is empathy and S is support and in this yes I have added uh, social worker as well uh, so the actual spikes protocol will not have social worker but um, you know when I deal with a uh, breaking bad news station I will try to involve a social worker as well so coming to the spikes protocol the main idea of spikes protocol is not to give the bad news directly to the patient saying oh, Mr. Smith you have got this uh, uh, advanced prostate cancer uh, don't worry there is some you know radiotherapy or chemotherapy available uh, and you will probably die in few days so you don't say this directly and what the spikes protocol wants you to do is sensitize the patient first as if uh, you know that uh, just to tell the patient that uh, you're probably giving him a bad news and then you know give the uh, bad news after a while once you build rapport with the patient um, it's very important you don't give the bad news straight away so um, so what is mean what is meant by setting the scene so usually the you know the breaking bad news should be in a quiet room where you have a board at the front of the room you know not to disturb um, and the you will be in attendance with the patient and you can start actually telling the patient that the patient has got bad news by saying by asking the patient that um, you can ask him is there anyone waiting outside uh, so that I can you know talk to them as well while I'm having a chat with you usually if it's a you know uh, lung infection or ear infection or any bladder infection or anything like that you don't ask whether a family member is waiting outside or not so you are actually telling the patient that uh, you're going to tell or talk to him something which is probably not a good thing so this is setting the scene then P is patient's perception so you always check the patient's understanding so you ask him uh, um, what 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 does uh, he know about his health status or uh, you know what 
I'll actually read the actual question so you can ask him how much does the patient knows so or what do you think is happening with your health something like that just to check the patient's um, understanding that is P then I is invitation so so you invite the patient where you say um, are you a kind of person who would like to know everything if something goes wrong see usually you don't talk all these things in your usual uh, clinical case but uh, you're actually telling all these things to tell the patient that uh, uh, you know there is not something uh, um, good news so you're actually sensitizing the patient that uh, he is having a bad news so you ask for family members waiting outside then uh, you check the patient's understanding what do you think is happening with his health then you invite the patient where you say are you a kind of person who would like to know everything if something goes wrong now you come to the actual you know part of breaking bad news which is knowledge where you show empathy again and uh, you usually tell this uh, like uh, uh, I'm afraid that the you know the prostate cancer result or I'm afraid that the lung cancer biopsy result have uh, come here and uh, actually the result is you know very high grade metastatic cancer or whatever it is you tell in simple language don't use medical terminology it's very important that you don't use medical terminology while you break bad news and always have everything organized you know what you are going to do what you are going to talk what support groups you are going to talk about you should have everything and please don't think in front of the patient so you give the knowledge to the patient and uh, in, the, in a clinical examination once you say this the patient will start crying so immediately look for tissues just take some tissues and give it to the patient and at this point just wait for a few seconds just give a pause uh, because you have given a you know a big or bad news to the patient that the patient has got you know this advanced lung cancer or cervical cancer or some any type of cancer so it's a shocking thing for the patient so you should always uh, give a pause let the patient you know get over the shock and then you you can you have to ask him whether uh, you can ask him mr smith is it okay if i proceed and uh, if he is not responding just wait at this point you can even tap on the patient's shoulder um, and give him some more tissues if he is crying and uh, then you you, this is empathy part of spikes E is for empathy and S is for support groups you talk about uh, various support groups that are available and you talk about various supports the patient you know is uh, uh, will get with the disease uh, in your own country and again you talk about involving a social worker so it's very important you have this protocol and um, this is spikes protocol itself but once you finish this one you should always ask the patient uh, whether you would like to you know whether the patient wants you to call the family members and tell him or um, if the patient uh, wants to know anything else you can give him some leaflets about the disease and the most important thing is you should ask him how he is going home you know if it's a shocking thing so obviously the patient um, might not be safe if he, if he wants to go home so it's always important that you inquire and you know show empathy and tell him that you will be seeing in you know one week time or two weeks time and talk about the um, support groups as well and uh, give him lots of take home material about the disease and ask him to call you back or contact you if he is concerned so I think um, all these things comes with practice and I want you to you know just google what is spikes protocol S-P-I-K-E-S just look below the video I will write down the abbreviation as well and you can uh, check the actual videos in google I wish this uh, lecture is very helpful and thank you very much for listening to me um,